Hello fellow super builders, uh, just a short one this week. Uh, I didn't get too much done. Uh, I thought this week I'd get to adding the real time features. Uh, I did not, so that is for next week. Um, but what I did is I spun up um, a little, uh, spun up a Next.js app, and then I added um, a leafless uh, map, and uh, I draw the location um, points and line on on the map. So that's what I managed to get done. I can um, show you this quickly here for the Sydney Harbour Challenge. So if we take the event ID, so here's our um, Next.js starter template. And then I just say map slash and I paste in the event ID. And then I um, just draw all the data points on the map. Uh, so these are all the location data points that we have. And then we're also drawing um, this, I think it's called poly line um, on the map as well. And so this is just um, a leaflet uh, map here with uh, open street map, just kind, kind of the default setting there. And actually, if anyone knows kind of what's the you know best sort of open source mapping solution to use in Next.js or in general mapping solution, what, what do folks use for um, maps in, in Next.js websites? Actually, not too sure what people use nowadays. So I ended up using... Um, uh, here I have it in the in my map. So using React Leaflet, um, you know Leaflet JS, I guess is, is kind of one of the the ones I remember, one of the the popular open source ones. Um, and there's yeah a React Leaflet project for it. Now it was a little bit frickly to kind of get it working, um, mainly because now with Next.js everything is sort of server rendered, but uh, leaflet actually needs to render client site on um, and so it needs a window object. So kind of the way I went with this now is basically I created a client component and then there's this um, dynamic, mm, I guess, function. So next dynamic, um, a way to import something that um, requires SSR faults. Um, dynamically load a component on the client site, uh, disable server rendering. So this is, yeah, if you have component that relies on browser APIs like a window. So in the, in the case of Leaflet, that is true. Um, and so, yeah, so that's kind of what I went for here, SSR uh, faults. Now, I don't know if there's any kind of server side mapping, you know, if, if there's even a map out there that you can load server side. Um, so maybe if anyone has has any ideas on that, do let me know. But yeah, that is pretty much the uh, just very brief update for this week. Um, not too much we, we got done, but yeah, we have a little Next.js app. Maybe I can show you real quick um, as well, just how we're loading the data. So basically we're just doing everything client side now. So we're using Superbase, um, create client from the utils, um, so here in the utils, we have the, the Superbase SSR package, um, just in general, because, you know, we'll later want to build out the application with kind of all of Next.js, you know, user login, what have you, potentially um, will want that. So we're just using our um, starter template here, uh, but then we have the browser client um, that we can use to interact with Superbase um, on the client side. And since we have kind of a, a client component here, we'll use our um, Superbase uh, browser client. And then we just, you know, as uh, in our user effect. So basically just as the page is loading up, we're then uh, loading the locations and we're just taking the event ID from the params. So we just have this um, here, dynamic routing um, based on the event ID. And then we're just ordering by uh, created at, and we are setting the data. And then basically we're feeding the data into our um, dynamic map. So this is our dynamic um, component here. And if we look at 
importing um, yeah our map component so we then get our data and yeah I need to feed in the types I haven't done that yet with with TypeScript but then basically we just have this um, map container um, we basically just center the map to like the first location in in the array uh, for now um, that, that is fine to kind of center it roughly where it should be and then just for now I have a polyline uh, so polyline works, you just pass in um, all the, the positions. So you pass in an array of um, lat longs. So basically I'm just running a map through here to then reformat that into um, lat longs. And then here as well, I'm just doing this um, circle marker. So these are all these um, little dots here, are the circle markers. And as you can see, then they have a little pop up um, a pretty see this three pop up here. Here we are. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for now. So next step um, this week, hopefully we'll get to it to actually add real time and plot um, the things on the map, uh, and then uh, in real time. So that'll be exciting. But yeah, let me know if you know anything about kind of mapping and Next.js. I'm definitely happy to hear if you have any feedback. Uh, and otherwise, keep on building. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.